yeah hi there to everyone on YouTube uh, what I'm going to try and do today is uh, it's a bit complex but I'd like to deal with the 10 most indebted countries in the world and the information that I got from I got this information from two sources again I got it from one of my favorite sites the World Factbook the CIA World Factbook and I also got uh, some of it from The Economist magazine and I'll give you the links at the end or I'll put it up on, on the screen at the end so you can check out what I'm saying. And basically what it, what this is about is this is trying to um, draw the real analysis of which which countries are the most indebted. Uh, for instance, I'll give you an example. America at the moment owes $12.25 trillion dollars. By the way, these are from June 2007 figures, so they will be more today, but these are the figures that I have to work on, they're the most, the most up-to-date figures that are, that are available. America is number one in terms of quantity, and it owes $12.25 trillion. That's its external debt. The United Kingdom is next. They owe $10.5 trillion. Next comes France which owes $5.3 trillion. Next comes Germany, which owes $4.4 trillion. Next comes Spain, which owes $2.4 trillion. Next comes ne the Netherlands, which owes $2.2 trillion. And next comes Ireland, which owes $1.8 trillion. Next comes Japan, which owes $1.49 trillion. And next comes Switzerland, which owes $1.34 trillion. And after that, the final, the 10th amount, is down to Belgium, and they owe $1.3 trillion. Now, these are just bare figures, because one of the things that happens is, when people go to borrow money, or you want to examine, if you're an accountant, or you're an economist, and you examine a country or a large corporation, the two things that you want to know are what can this country earn or what can this corporation earn or this large company earn what are what are its potential earnings against its total liabilities now the 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 debt the external debt that i have quoted are the liabilities of these countries but we have to take into consideration what potential do they have to pay this indebtedness off and they can only do that through their GDP through what they earn their gross domestic or gross national product is what determines their income and if we go down those 10 countries we find that America has a GDP of 14.3 trillion dollars the United Kingdom has a GDP of 2.2 trillion dollars France has a GDP of $2.1 trillion. Germany has a GDP of $2.8 trillion. Spain has a GDP of $1.4 trillion. The Netherlands has a GDP of 0.7 of $1 trillion. Ireland has a GDP of 0.2 of $1 trillion. Japan has a GDP of $4.4 trillion. Switzerland has a GDP of Point three trillion dollars, and Belgium has Belgium has a GDP of 0.4 trillion dollars. Now, to get the proper index, we should compare the liabilities on one hand against the potential earnings on the other. Because, really, if you go to borrow money, or you want to, if you want to examine the health of any company or any individual, any individual, you still apply the same criteria what what can that person potentially earn and what are the total liabilities liable for that person at the present time so if we do the debt over GDP index we end up with the following which is quite revelatory in many ways we find out that the number one country Sorry, I'll do it in reverse. We found that that out of the ten countries, the tenth, the really the tenth less indebted country 
is Japan. We find that the United States, funny enough, is the ninth least indebted country. Out of the now, you must remember these are still the top ten indebted countries in the world. We find that number eight is Spain. We find that number seven is Germany. We find that France is number six. We find that uh, where are we here? We find that Belgium is the fifth, and we find that uh, the 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 fourth is the Netherlands, and we find that the 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 third country is Switzerland, and we find that the United Kingdom is the second most indebted country in the world, and the most indebted country in the world is little old Ireland top of the heap and I will post them up at the end so that you can see them and what I've done is I've divided the debt the total external debt by the GDP now uh, there's other there's other parameters you can take into consideration as well such as population but that even makes it worse <laughs> so if we just just disregard the pop population and just take it against GDP it gives you a very very good insight about the general health of these 10 countries. Now we know that they're the most indebted in the world, but again, you have to balance it against uh, how are they able to pay off this indebtedness. And obviously the ones with the smallest amount of GDP are the ones that are least capable of paying it off. So they have to borrow the most uh, to offset their indebtedness, etc., etc., etc. And really what this tells us is that uh, from the top down, from Ireland, United Kingdom. I'm actually surprised that the United States, given all that we hear about it, that it has de facto the biggest debt, but it also has the largest GDP. So it has the potential to pay off that debt, or at least some of that debt. So um, I, I think it's quite, quite interesting and quite revelatory in many ways. So I'm, I finished now. I'm not going. I've been going on it for seven minutes. I'm going to move on. And I'll try and nip up tomorrow. I want to talk about some other things. And I'll post these links uh, just when I finish now. Thank you very much.